Mahalo to HawaiiActivities.com for sponsoring this video. So, whew. this cruise is bomb. For more Hawaii videos, make sure you're subscribed and click that notification bell so you're alerted every time we post a new video. Aloha, I'm Miriam and this is Yes to Hawaii. We make Hawaii videos take the guesswork out of planning your trip. In this video, I'm going to take you with us as we go on a snorkel tour with Moana Catamaran. If you're looking for something short to do in the morning, this is a boat that I would recommend. They're located at Koala Basin Harbor, which is very, very close to Waikiki. They offer two different snorkel cruises. They have one in the morning, which runs at about 8.30, and they also have an afternoon cruise. For this video, we went on the 8.30 Cruise. As always, I'll leave timestamps in the description box below, so feel free to skip around the video to the parts that you came here for. I'll go over what you get, options, AM versus PM, how to get there, what to pack, and lastly, a review. As for what you get, for this cruise, we did the 8.30 to 10.30 AM, which gave us two hours on the water. Check-in is gonna be at about eight o'clock, and 8.15 is when you start to board the boat. This boat is gorgeous. It is a absolutely beautiful, massive, catamaran so there's netting area that you can relax out in the sun the boat is beautiful it's super super nice and they take you out to snorkel with turtles we however had a very very special treat just without the right expectation this is completely out of the ordinary and typically dolphins do not come this far up into Waikiki they're typically on the west side of the island but we were in for a completely special treat and we saw dolphins this has only happened a handful of times but when it does happen it's super amazing and memorable so as for what you get you do get snorkel rental and then you also get fins they offer life vests if you need them and they also have these belts that help you float for buoyancy as well if you've never snorkeled in open water ocean before make sure to let one of the crew know just so that way they can give you some extra pointers when you're out snorkeling in the water there's going to be a couple crew members in the water with you typically they'll be floating around on surfboards kind of pointing out different things that you can see in the water if someone sees a turtle um, pointing out different schools of fish it's nice and it's also a good little security blanket too that you know that there's a lifeguard in the water with you i would highly recommend that you put on one of the buoyancy belts even if you're a good strong swimmer Snorkeling can be exhausting. You are floating, yes, but you're also breathing recycled air through a tube, which can make you pretty tired. If you want to have the most amount of time in the water, I would recommend using a buoyancy belt. They're super easy, super comfortable, and they clip right on. They have different sizes available, and it just makes things a lot easier for you. They also have an option where you can add on breakfast. If you are not a morning person, I would definitely say add on the breakfast. They have a couple different menu options that you can choose from. This is what we chose, and it was pretty good. The boat itself runs twice a day. They have an 8.30 tour in the morning, and they also have an afternoon sail. We decided to do the morning sail, which goes from 8.30 to 10.30, so two hours on the boat with a check-in at about 8 a.m. It was absolutely Absolutely gorgeous and amazing. If you're looking for good visibility to see turtles, this would be the cruise to do. If you're looking more so to do something in the afternoon and just be out on a boat, snorkel a little bit, but snorkeling isn't your main focus, they also have an afternoon cruise as well. This particular boat offers other cruises. They've got day sails, they've also got a sunset sail, they've got plenty of other options, but for this video, we're just gonna focus on their snorkel cruise. As for how to get there, you have a couple different options to get to Koala Basin Harbor. For the morning cruises, they do recommend that you don't drive just because the harbor is very very, very busy in the morning and if you're unable to find parking you could be late for your check-in and thus miss your boat we did opt to drive because we got there a little bit earlier parking was about one dollar per hour so very affordable however we got lucky with parking when we had pulled up to the parking lot there was literally just one spot available and we were lucky enough to get that but had we arrived just a few minutes later we would have missed that on that spot and we'd have to look elsewhere for parking option number two to get out to the harbor which is the easiest and most convenient is to use either a taxi or a rideshare app such as uber or lyft from waikiki it's only a few miles to the harbor so i would say about a 10 to 15 minute drive if you're feeling up for it you could also beaky down there it is quite a bit of a bike ride, but if you did want to, there is a Beaky Station, which is right beside the harbor. If that one is full, there's also one at the Whole Foods, which is about one or two blocks away. As for what's a pack, I'll leave a link in the description box below for some of my favorite things that I typically bring on snorkel trips. The number one thing that I would highly recommend that you bring above all else is to bring some sort of waterproof bag. When people are getting on and off the boat, they're wet. Water is dripping from them. Your bag might be on the seat, but it's gonna get splashed or wet. If you have something valuable that you don't wanna get wet, such as any camera gear, your cell phones, 
anything like that, it is an excellent idea to get a waterproof bag. This one is my favorite waterproof bag and if you're traveling, it's very thin and it folds flat just like this so it's very easy to pack. I'll leave a link in the description box below for this one. It's a 25 liter in mint green and what I really like about this one is that for the backpack, it's padded here. It also has these clips to make it super comfortable. The straps are padded as well, but the inside, it's completely waterproof. It's pretty big too, so you can fit quite a few things in there, such as your towel, cell phone, hat, whatever else you happen to need. And then this right here rolls up like this, and then it clips like this. What I really like about this bag too is you can also use this little clip section to clip on your sandals, your flip-flops, your slippers, anything, so that way you don't set them down the boat, they don't fall off the boat, they don't get misplaced, everything's on your bag. There's also these little clips here. If you haven't have any water flasks or water bottles, it's easy to clip things on here as well. There's an outside zipper for you to put more things too, but this is not gonna be waterproof just because it has this zipper right here. It's more splash-proof than waterproof. For this pocket, I usually put sunscreen, maybe a lip balm, anything that I want quick access to, my ticket for example, anything that I want quick access to, but I don't mind if it gets wet. And then lastly, on the inside of the bag, I'll show you guys in here. There's an inside pocket where you can actually put other things in, like your wallet, you can also put your cell phone in there, just so that way it doesn't get lost in the shuffle with the bag. As you can tell, this is my absolute favorite purchase that I've ever had for anything boat related. I actually have this exact same bag in yellow, but in a larger 35 liter size, and that's what I typically bring when I go sailing on sailing trips. However, for smaller snorkel trips or boat trips here on the island, this is my absolute favorite bag. You can also bring this with you when you go kayaking, it doesn't matter, this bag is, it's it's a game changer. I'll leave a link in the description box below. So we just finished snorkeling in Turtle Canyon and it was the perfect morning. We saw dolphins, we saw a bunch of turtles and tons of fish. We heard from the crew though that it's really rare to see dolphins this close to Turtle Canyon, but this time we definitely did. As for my review overall, absolutely love this tour. Super fun boat ride and the fact that we saw tons of turtles and fish, plus we had a little bonus of seeing dolphins, which again, to set the right expectation, that doesn't always happen. It's a very small, like 1% chance that will happen, but that made this entire trip completely special. Absolutely loved it. I love the boat. It was completely spacious and the crew was really, really fun. Don't forget to bring cash to tip the crew as well. I'll leave a link in the description box below if you'd like to book this specific boat. Mahalo to HawaiiActivities.com for sponsoring this video. They have activities like this one for Oahu and the neighborhood. Islands. We also have a coupon code for subscribers. When you go to book, type in YES TO HAWAII with two as the number two for a 5% discount on anything you book. If you're interested in this activity or other Oahu activities, I'll leave a link in the description box below. I hope you guys liked this video and found it helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And if there's any other Hawaii videos you'd like to see, definitely leave them in the comments down below. for good visibility to see snorkels and turtles. Now it's